Good evening. I hope you are well. This is our 11th broadcast. Thanks for joining us. What a week. I hope you're safe and well wherever you are. Um, all is good here in uh, Manchester. And uh, for those of you who never joined us before, thanks for joining. This is our Making Music show. And uh, I'm your co-presenter with my other partner in crime. I'll show him in a second. Tim from Lost Light. And an uh, interesting show tonight. We've got a great guest. Oh, I shall tell you about in a second. And um, yeah, so the idea is we're looking at music and it just so happens to be something to do with Ableton Live. Uh, I'm a certified trainer, um, Simon Lyons certified trainer. Should be able to see just down there somewhere. And uh, I'm really proud of these little titles. I've got one for Tim. But it just doesn't, we can't do it when we switch to Zoom. So let's just see where Tim is. Are you, he's there. I'm here. It'll I'm here. My, my, that logo thing will disappear now. So you, you're, you're just telling me, Porky's, aren't you? You've made titles for yourself. And for me, you thought, oh, fuck it. He doesn't need any titles. Well, what, what it is, because we're, this is from Zoom. And then that's just my camera there. And it's just all really complicated. If anybody uh, wants to come and do all this, what, now sort of lockdown is coming to an ease. Maybe we should A, be in the same place. That would be great. And that B, would be somebody great. else yeah, do yeah. it. I was having a bit of mare before, I want to say I'm sorry we're a bit late. For those of um, the regulars, thank you so much for tuning in every week. This means a lot to us. And um, yeah, if you just join us for the first time, um, do like and subscribe. We're broadcasting on the Ableton Certified Trainers channel. And if you... Uh, like and subscribe and you know do the the bells for notification um there's videos being uploaded uh, uploaded there quite frequently now from certified trainers so there's all sorts of good stuff uh there was some last week from one of our other guests um mark towers he's just done some uh mpe videos he covered a lot in the show which was also it was episode five tim i can't even remember but um oh. we're on 11 now so you know i'm getting double figures so we're doing it Anyway, so stream working okay? There's people in the chat room. We're, we're all good. We've got people in the chat room. Um, nice. Yeah, guys, please, if you have any questions about what's going on, make sure you fire them into the uh, the chat because we will stop periodically. I'll be monitoring it and we'll get your questions in for either Simon uh, or for Annie. Yeah. Or for me, even. Yeah, yeah. But Tim. if you've got something to ask me, that, that that's marvellous. I'm, I'm more than happy to answer those questions as well. Amazing. <laughs> Got, How do you get that head so shiny? That's that's that's, that's a good that's, one. No one needs to know that. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. So, um, hi to Ned and one of our other regulars there. Um, I, I don't know your actual name, but he says hello. I know. So it must be someone MHO. Who, hello, mate. MHO. He is, he's in the know. Okay, so tonight's guest, amazing, amazing. If you don't know Annie, well, you will after tonight. Let's put it that way. <laughs> so she's a wicked guitar player, session guitarist, done all kinds of stuff. She played guitar with Dave Stewart from Eurythmics. That's awesome. But mm. she's, that, she's a really cool guitarist, and she's now using Live and Push, and we'll ask her all that stuff in a bit. Um, and we'll play a couple of her videos this evening. Um, I just, I, I'm, I'm, I'm well up for them videos. I, I love the concept that she's naming them what she was feeling that, that yeah. made her create the video in the first I, I, place. It's yeah, probably like cool. That. Well, we won't spoil anything. We'll let her do no. some of that. But yeah, they're, they're, they're good. Um, yeah, because when, yeah, we just I'll show you that anyway. So, Tim, confession, yes. confession go, time. Go on. Um, I need to share screen so you can see it. But unfortunately, which is we need to sort that out because everybody else would would be able to see it normally. But I do think that it, the resolution's not affected too much. So okay. So would you want the full story? Go on. Right, I've cheated on you again. <laughs> again? Right. <laughs> yeah. it's just, I'm a serial, uh, what is it? Poli poli whatever. It's an abusive relationship. Yeah. <laughs> and I keep coming back. Yeah. So th the idea was that I was going to show the video of the track that this will be, right? But uh, yeah, you know, life is complex. So anyway, this, this, this thing here, right? So... Um, I put an EP out with Martin Walsh from Inspiral Carpets as Martin Walsh and Simon Lyon. It's very difficult to find. <laughs> no, it's not really because that's exactly what it's called. That's the artist's name on Spotify and everything. Martin Walsh, Simon Lyon. And um, one of the tracks, I think track two, depending on what you're listening on, was by a remix by Sink Your Teeth. 
Now that's sink your teeth. And um, they're from Norfolk. Uh, they've been on BBC introducing and stuff like that. They're awesome. Really, really cool. I, I, I want to sort of hear the original of this, but I'll sort it out for next week or I'll put a link in at some point. But sink your teeth. They're great. And um, so we're returning the favour to do a remix. Anyway, so that's the, the story um, that why I'm cheating on Tim. But in continuation from last week, we were talking about Simon's crazy one minute nines. Do you remember this, this yeah, story? Yeah, 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 yeah. Now you yeah. probably can see a little, oh, there you've got evidence there that we were talking about finishing tracks and getting stuff finished. And for some reason I came up with this idea and I really still don't know why. There's, um, you can see that this was just another section where it says wig out there. <laughs> that was another section that I came up with the other night. So just ignore that. <laughs> but here you can see, I, I worked out some somehow that to get an idea of a song. Now we're looking at one of Tim's, if you were, if you watched last week's and the week before when Ned was on two yeah, Ned, ago. Ned was weighing in yeah. as well. And we were talking about getting songs finished, getting them over to arrangement view, because that's where songs exist. That, that's what we're saying. Unless you're performing them live, you know, you can use session view all day and all night, no problem. But if you want to share the song, you know the drill. You want to share it with somebody, get it out there into the world, let somebody else hear it on a different platform. You need to get it onto arrangement and mix it out. Okay? Make it exist. Make it exist. That's um, one of our mantras. Make it exist. Okay, so if it, if it can't be played outside of Ableton Live or in studio somewhere else or on someone's phone, then it doesn't exist. So this is, um, so the idea I had was to make this, make all the tracks exist. If you've got an idea that's good, force yourself into <laughs> one minute nine. Now one minute nine does translate to 69 seconds. No connotations. I just worked out somehow that it was about 36 bars, no matter what the tempo was. Now, I must have calculated it. I don't know, 120 BPM or something. Like, right, one minute nine, that was it. And then I realized that it's 69 seconds. Anyway, so I made a series of tracks one month or something. I decided that everything that I did, either delete it or turn it into one minute nine. And I kept going around telling everybody all this stuff because if you tell people yeah. things, you have You're to selling it to me. Yeah, but. <laughs> yeah. So that's what I did anyway. So just to give a, a, a closure to this story, all of the one minute nines that I did have now been used for either a Lost Light track or remix or something. So basically, they've all gone. This was the last one, I think. And there's one Ser more. Seriously? There's one more. <laughs> and I used that for a library music thing. So they've actually all been use for something so it works because it exists and then so this one the remix thing so martin and i were looking at this and i sent him some of my one minute nines and there were three of and it, we've used all three so i sent him the three remaining ones and used all three because this, you made them exist because in, i made in them a form exist. that was otherwise, like verse Sorry, yeah. by the way just so i didn't want to throw you while you're doing that but you've got a little bit of echo on your microphone um, just it's, it's been mentioned in the chat room. I don't know whether you need to pull it a bit further in front of you if it's picking something that it's picking it up out your speakers more than it's picking uh, it up I from you. Um, I don't it's, know. It's, it's, it's not a huge thing. What uh, about now? Not not from what I'm getting anyway. Um, okay. So don't don't fret. Go on. Yeah, go I, in. I don't I don't know. You'll have to. Nothing's different. Is it okay now? I mean, we're about twenty seconds ahead or something. So. It, 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 it's right it's right don't let me throw you okay. go on let's right. delve let, well just update me on that will do because it's that's annoying i don't know why hmm. okay right all right so here's the idea um it could be you tim it could be <laughs> don't start blaming me again. yeah well all right just try it um while i'm doing this just use the space bar and just only press space bar when you want to talk so i think you mute yourself on zoom and then space bar drop you know all this everybody's zooming so anyway <laughs> right so based on stuff we've done before do you remember you showed you the mono sequencer tons of times yeah um i use this to to generate bass lines right and so if i i'll play but i'll mute the part that i've got here i think it was here oh no right so i've got this section that i want to use and what i've had to do is to transpose that this remix was in um the original songs in the key of B minor and this was in F so I had to either go conveniently up six semitones or down six if you work it out from F you've got to count up so many keys is the echo still going Tim 
I, I, th I think we're, we're all right. We've got we've got feedback that it's okay. So if it does exist, it's only minimal. So don't worry. Okay. All right. I'm sorry, everybody. So unprofessional of me. Um, no. So okay. So th this this it just works out that I had to shift, including the MIDI. I had to shift everything six semitones. So obviously, when you do it um, in MIDI, you just move it. But obviously, with audio, it's time stretching, and I had to move a few things. Um, but this is how I came up with the pattern. And I think you're like this, Tim, because you know me, minimize to maximize and all this. Yeah, stuff, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. So check this, right? I think it's funny. This, I think it's funny. This is, I had to, I had to reload FM8 from back in the day. So um, if I go to the clip, so what I did, I came up with this by using mono sequencer. If I turn mono sequencer on, I think I set it to a key, although I'm not sure. So some of this may have changed. If I press play on like say pattern one or something, there you go, hang on. Right. But Simon, that sounds rubbish. Why would you use that? Okay, so I went in a little bit. I wouldn't you know, say rubbish. Well, no, it's, well, it's all right, isn't it? But, so I got this to generate this, mainly using the octave. And if you've never used mono sequencer before and you use Ableton Live Suite, this goes back, as you can use this as far back as nine, I think. Get on it now, it's amazing. You can get it to trigger external instruments everything it's it's wicked anyway so i'm using just the octave to jump up and down and you can draw this i mean it doesn't matter if i do this now it'll it'll still so that's minus four and then I'm just so by default it just plays a c unless you um change the pitch and I think I, if you hover over, it tells you what the key is. Sorry, I'm laughing because I know that I've seen that before. And I was one of those people you're speaking to that's never used it before that. <laughs> and I was, I was thinking, it's only playing one note. I didn't have a clue what I was doing. I think it was early in Ableton, so I've never yeah, used yeah. it since. Nice. So <laughs> it's a mono sequencer because it only plays one note at once. Right? It anyway, makes sense. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. It all makes sense now, right. didn't it, at the time? I'll, I'll hurry it on this because we're dragging it out. But so basically, I did this and it just throws out all these notes right now some are good some are all right some of you probably think oh well i'd use that well i wouldn't but <laughs> so um let's go to it so what i did and you can see i deleted notes yeah so it spits out all these notes and what i did i just went well i said deleted i deactivated them so if i just i didn't randomly do it but i went through and pressed zero a few times now, I picked pattern five, um, which was just generated from that. But this is what it sounds like with uh, FM8. Oh, there we go. So this, uh, uh, there you go. So this is now pattern five. Is that right? Oh, yeah, I need to turn the mono sequencer off. So this is actually what was recorded. Better that, innit? <laughs> okay. yeah, yeah, so I got carried you. away. Um, we, we were going to sort of get into a guitar theme tonight because Annie was on, but I don't think we've got time. But so pedal though, it's uh, overdrive pedal, which is like an Ibanez tube streamer screamer sort of vibe. Um, so then I went. Catalyst Martin says, "Why do these sound like alien sounds?" <laughs> it's all going to change, I promise. <laughs> That's better though, isn't it? Yeah. Let me know about volumes and stuff in case it goes crazy. Drum bus for some reason. I'm in. Bit of chorus. Right, that's better now, isn't it? Better, yes, right. much so better. That was an I'm FM8. having a nice, as Ned would say, I'm having a nice time. Oh, is he? Is he having a no, nice time? No, that's what he would say. Right, okay, so I did the all the same pattern, all the same riff, did all that, but then I went to, um, I think it's one of the first bass patches that comes up when you use when you use bass on uh, when you select bass on wavetable. I think this is one of the first ones. Same sort of thing. In fact, we'll we'll go backwards so you can see I copied everything. Yeah, I did. There's, there's, there's no uh, genius in this. It's just like, yeah, drum bus, pedal, <laughs> all that lot. But I did the same thing, but I really like this on the uh, 
the wavetable. So I, I, I did a sound. I, I went through. I always put unison on and I'd move the envelope a little bit and then move that to log saw, like analog or analog or mini log or whatever. So it's like that. Uh, I think this one's better than the FM8. I'm trying to move here one sec. I don't know what you mean by I am trying to move a one sec. <laughs> How about a web search for it? No. <laughs> I wondered what was no. going on then. <laughs> Here you go. Get the idea. Yeah. Okay, geez, we got there. And then I did it, I recorded it on the Moog as well. Just do that quick. So that's supposed to be like the top line, <laughs> but, and then I just got a bass line that worked with it. Operator, we love Operator. Are you getting that low end there? Are you getting that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I did the same thing to the Moog, but I sort of gapped it a little bit. So you... Yeah, so that's like <laughs> yeah. the sort of main bit, and then I sort of went into here. Uh, but this was all just generated from mono sequencer, really. That was the that was the kind of vibe. So so just just to let anybody who didn't didn't know that I was watching a, a video today from I won't say who it was from, but this certain person just posted all over Facebook in in loads of groups. Um, so you can find out for yourself and um, they were showing you how to reverse stuff and it was a really long way how to do it and lots of right mouse clicking and stuff if you find a piece of audio and you want to reverse it I mean I can split it to make sure it only does that bit with command E but you just press make sure you've got your MIDI keys activated you just press R and it'll reverse Oosh, there you go press R so I was doing all this but and then underneath all this, the idea of the remix, I need to just tone all that stuff down, you know, just a little bit, not too much. And then I've got some of the original bass from the song, which you've not heard. <laughs> and uh, so Gemma is the bass player from Sink Your Teeth. Check her out, she's cool. So I've just got like this kind of thing, which is... We gapped it like that. Oh. Right, so that's that's her that that dung down dung down. The song's about four and a half minutes long, and it only happens once that bit. So no, milk it, <laughs> milk it, <laughs> yeah, <Milk> definitely. <laughs> so if I play the operator and that, get the idea. Yeah, so I'm sort of like interplay between. I'm going, yeah? <laughs> Um, you've gapped everything out above that bass feel that boom 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 of like, course yeah 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 we have, we have <laughs> it's, it's got it's got to be seen that hasn't it? yeah yeah so that's the, the the foundation of that so the the idea is that i've got to um make an arrangement <laughs> so that we can work on it but yeah i just thought that's kind of the the core bit isn't it you know so yeah uh, the originally if i just take the odd the audio this is what the original key was in and I've got to say, I thought it was great in the original key, but, you know, transposition can be your friend. So this here, 
um, this bit. I'll just play the. So that was originally in. Um, so I've gone six semitones and put it back. And it was in beats mode, but I put it in. Because I stretched it so much, I went into complex, so it wasn't as wonky. But I think it was the FM8 that w that was like, because I'd left it in MIDI for once in my life. Um, oh, no, it was, it was a operator. It was originally in um, F minor, which is kind of a, a good, the low end of F, it sounds really nice over speakers loud. Because it's like a most, I don't know, it's about 43.5 hertz or something. Probably wrong. <laughs> no, I, 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 it's pretty around that. Well, uh, <laughs> it's around the, the, that. Only, the only other person with a microphone can't address that. Yeah, I well, you, so you know, don't you worry. <laughs> so anyway, so um, oh, if you ever want to check, is there a draw? Oh, there you go. Is that a drum bus there? I see. Right. So if you if you press, um, you select a note there. Can you see on the screen there? If you put, so what does it say? Was forty three point five hertz? Oh no, I'm right as well. I'm what a geek. Right. So that tells you forty three point five is actually F. And if you click F now there, it'll correct. Oh, it's 43.7. Jeez. You're close enough. No. You, get a, you still get a gold star for that one, don't you? No cigar. Right, so that's what's going to be that. Anyway, so so that's what I was on about, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's cool, that. It's, it's, it's on the way somewhere, isn't it? Yeah, and you know what, though? I, I might be able to get the... Uh, you know, um, Ned was uh, um, so kind enough to record us a little jingle... If I press it, it isn't going to work. So I'm going to save it for when it's ready. I'm going to save it's it. It's coming, Ned. We, 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 we mean yeah. what we say. Yeah, We've we got it. it. It's, it's there waiting. We've just got too much going on on too many different screens as it usual. Is. It's there waiting. Anyway, so that's that. Work in progress. Uh, I don't need to save that, do I? But I did, did want to show you something, Tim, that, that we were talking about earlier today. Uh, guitar sounds. Right, we've got a guitarist coming on. Don't save. Um... And she's awesome. She's got loads of amazing, uh, you know, tools to make her sound great. And she can use them. <laughs> but I can't, um, what I wanted to do is show you the website where I stole these from. I, didn't, I actually didn't steal them. It's two, gu two guitarists that are Ableton guitar users, guitar users that use Ableton. And um, they're offering some really good stuff. Now, this one is Earthcry, and it's actually called... Oh, I can actually look here without disturbing you guys. But Right, so the first guy is called... Where is he? Oh, he's just totally gone. I had him all there for you so you could do it. Um, right, I'm going to put this in the Discord thing as well anyway. But basically, he's done these... Um, both these YouTubers have used only Ableton plugins or devices to get a guitar sound. And this particular one, um, this is like a clean sound. I've put them in this folder. So you can get these free. Um, I'll put the link in. When I've got a second, I'll put the link in um, in the chat, and it'll be there forever then, won't it? So I'll, I'll do that because it's well worth it. They're all free. And if you follow his video, he tells you basically why when people open AMP on Ableton, think, oh, I don't sound that good. You've got to have it with a cabinet because the reason that live allows you to do this is so you can be really customized and you can put it without a speaker before the cabinet and do all this whereas in some of the other software it's kind of fixed you can't change the order and things like that. some you can um, and he talks about gain staging putting a pedal before this uh, some really good stuff and then there's another one that I thought I, I'd upload I it. definitely need to have a nosy at that. You are oh, mate, you do, it, right? I've, well, I've seen you see. use use the Ableton amp and get, like, amazing sounds out of it. And then I, I've put it on. And I, I do know from you telling me to, to make sure that I put a yeah. cab after it. But, well, um, well, we'll have a look. I think ne next week or whatever, because I want to I show you this guy. The other guy is called, um, I follow him on YouTube, he's called Cloud Card, and he's a fellow Ableton certified trainer. And he's, he's actually done one that's free and one that you, I, I think I paid him like $5 and then realized that he was giving it to the certified trainers free, but let's support <laughs> our friends. And he's done like used Live 11, so you've got the macros and you can just click and change sounds. That's the one I want to show you. So I'll, I'll do that properly next time. 
Anyway, oh, that so cool. there is someone at the door. Who can it be? So could um, it be Annie? I don't, it could be Annie. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to show you one of Annie's videos. Now this one is something she she did for someone else, but it's really cool and it gives you um, a little idea of what she's about. So I'm just going to let you watch this performance for a couple of minutes, and then when you come back, we'll be with Annie plays guitar, Annie Wagstaff. All right, guys, here we go. Now you're not my girlfriend This is all in my head That we have some times in our vibe that I can't forget Now you're not my girlfriend This is all in my mind I know that it's bad but I think about you all the time Now you're not my girlfriend This is all in my head show i hope you enjoyed it um if you share your at home creations don't forget to use the hashtag dickies make a difference and you could be featured on the dickies life instagram there you go and we're back we're back we're back hope you can hear us all somebody's joined us it's annie annie plays guitar annie wagstaff welcome woo, 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 woo. Hello, are you okay <laughs> How we're, we're, are we're you? Just, we've just we've just had to hesitate to start asking like all the questions. How, how's, have you been? How's your day? Just so we could at least wait until it was on camera. So go on. How's your day been? Uh, yeah, my day's been good. Um, just been making music and went and like did something with this girl Jetta. I don't know if you know her. Oh yeah, I do. Is that who Rachel? Yeah. Is that who Rachel did some uh, MD in for? Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go Jetta from Liverpool. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. That's the Jetta. Jetta. Um, yeah, I know. Yeah, Jetta. fun. Just a quick uh, little. She's got like a little TV thingy, thingy going on. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure. I just went and played guitar. It's all Brilliant. I Brilliant. So that that's interesting, actually, because so were you doing like you're playing guitar then? That that was like session stuff. 
Um, kind of, not really. It was like, um, so she's got this thing called Jetflix and chill where she like talks to people. Um, yeah, it was quite dope, sorry. And um, we just made a tune with oh, one right. of those bass, yeah. Wicked, wicked. Oh, well, that's good. So I was going to ask you about um, just generally, like for those people who, who sort of don't know what, what you're doing, I was kind of like going to intro you and talk about stuff. But did you cool. originally you got into this, beer, obviously being into music and you, you sort of guitar was your way in. Yeah, that was the way yeah. in for you. Because it, it was for us too as well, wasn't it really? But we went yeah. a different way. But um, so, yeah, I mean, obviously you can elaborate on, on the story, but the guitar was the way in. And then from there till now, what we just seen now is like you playing pretty much everything. And yeah. is what we saw in the video, is that a recent thing? Like, sort of tell us how you got to there basically, because oh, boy. You, you'd, I mean, not, not everything, but I mean, you know, not yeah. since, I, I mean, we, we read through your AMA that was on Reddit. And uh, so I, yeah, I know yeah. everything about you now. That's oh, it. God, yeah, everything. that's scary. No, no, it's wicked, that. But, um, yeah, just tell us a little bit about even the transition. So, obviously, you're a guitarist, and you you came into this as a session guitarist, mm -hmm. and that's how you kind of formed, you know, your following and fans and stuff. Yeah. And so so what? how did you get to the kind of, you know, what I'm sort of saying is, like, how did you get into producing yourself and doing everything yourself? Because this, this was happening before lockdown, wasn't it? You didn't just decide to do it over lockdown, did you? It was kind of... The, this, this whole, this what kind of what you just saw, yeah, that was a whole, that was a lockdown thing. Okay, all right then. Life crisis, yeah. Oh, good, right, yeah, okay. So tell us a little bit about that, because I think what we always ask people on this show is, like, it doesn't matter how amazing you are a musician or how long you've been doing it, there's always kind of you know, the mental hurdles or situation-based things. And we were just saying before that some of your songs, the titles that are on YouTube, is that the actual title what? of the song? It's genius. No, 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 no. <laughs> you should keep them. That'd be way too long. <laughs> no, but I, I loved it, Annie. Um, I mean, t tell us about that, because what, what I loved was the honesty, because you, you, you're telling people where you were coming from when you were writing it. So tell yeah. us about them. Oh, I just remember seeing this guy on YouTube and all his titles were like, um, this is what it feels like when you've broken up or when you've done this or when you've done that. And I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. And then I was like, mm, well, I wrote this when, <laughs> la di da di da um, And yeah, like, as you say, it just kind of like gives a little bit more perspective into the song before you heard it. Like a title doesn't really tell you much. Like they've all got titles and that's in the description, but... And also, you're not YouTube site. You just need people to click, don't you? So, <laughs> yeah, well, well, it, well, it got me. <laughs> I clicked on that one first, Great. you know. Good at working. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I just kind of was like, oh, what's going to make people click on this? <laughs> so, um, that was kind of my, there was not really much more thought process than that. No, I don't really put... It, so, sorry, go on. I mean, no, 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 keep going, keep going. I was going to say it's not like typical clickbait, though. I mean, the, the reason why yeah. the reason why it got me is because I I, I knew that of I knew that you were a musician, and I knew that by clicking that, I was going to get an insight into your expression of of that that mm. feeling. Because one of one of my favorite albums, and I'd never really I'm one of those dickheads that had not paid enough attention to him beforehand. <laughs> um, I paid lots of attention, dickheads. but not enough. Uh, was Bowie's album Black Star, and oh, and that yeah. was amazing for me because that album I, I was it was a masterpiece. It was written from the perspective of a man who knew he was dying, hadn't revealed to the world that he was dying, and was recording an al album to document it. And what you're doing is like little snapshots of of that concept. It, it, I, I, am I right? Is that how you see? Yeah, it? that makes sense. I guess. Yeah, totally. Well, well Tim we sees all. <laughs> Tim yeah. sees all. Ah, Tim that, talks that, too much. <laughs> so, when, when um, I was we, we, the first time I saw you in real life, we were at, yeah. um, which is quite interesting, really, because it was at Rachel Collier's gig. Yeah. It was a yeah. launch, launch gig, and supporting was Biffin. Um, yeah. I've you know spoke to Biffin quite a lot now, and um, I'm going to be doing stuff with her as well, and she's awesome as well. And I met you guys as well, so there was like. That's the last time I saw you in real life, and then ever yep. since then we've just been online and stuff. But um, so since since then though, I mean, you uh, you got an Ableton push, and it features a lot, and it's it. it's clearly not a gimmick. You you really are using it. So 
Yeah. I, I'm I'm really really interested because I know you, you, when you when you first got it, you know, you had a little once over, and you're like, yeah, okay, I know where that is. And I think Danny Danny helped you out, didn't he? Yeah. And um, but like, so how is how are you using it? Because it can be used in so many different ways. And like, you are you using it for beat programming? Are you using it for looping? Does it feature in different processes? of your uh, of your process uh, yeah it, like yeah so at the moment i'm basically using it to run my ableton session mm. so i set the session up and then i just i'm literally just triggering things on it so i'm like triggering a clip and recording into those clips or i'm triggering a drum clip clip which already have strums in it or that's that's basically what i'm using it for at the moment to be honest like rachel uses it in a, in like a lot more complex way than i do um I use it pretty well for what for what I'm doing at the moment, like pretty simply, I guess. Mm. Uh, well, it, it it doesn't seem simple, but it, it's facilitating it's facilitating the song, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, for sure. And by that point, that I'm actually using the push, everything's set up. Like yeah. all the complex stuff has already kind of gone on, and and that, and that, I'm just using that to trigger. And and are you writing in live? Are you yeah. using yeah, 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 yeah. You're doing everything from scratch. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good. See, I, I wasn't sure about that. So, and how how are you finding that the, the writing in live? Did you what did you come from before? What was before Ableton Live for you? I was using Logic. Yeah. For years, and then the reason I got into live is because uh, in my old projects we started to play live, and we needed something that was just like going to be able to hack this live show and yeah, kind of yeah. do what we needed it to be able to do, and the only thing to make that possible was live yeah. Ableton Live. Um, so I kind of got into that, went in really nerdy or up all night watching tutorials. <laughs> like, um, it was, my, it was literally my life for a, a long time. And then just kind of just saw the possibilities in it and then using it so differently to how I'm using it now. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a crazy tool. It's yeah, mental. yeah. So you're still on like you're still on a journey with it. You're still discovering stuff because obviously definitely. you're on Live Eleven now, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, definitely. Like every time I think of something, I'm like oh, I want to do this. There's always a way to do it, and I'm usually on the phone to Rachel. Like Rachel, I want to do this. How do I do it? Um, and she's yeah. Like, oh, well, it's, <laughs> it's it's good to have it's good to have a network, isn't it, around you to ask these yeah. questions. And you know that that's why we started wanting to do this this show. That to, there's people in in our chat room there. There's, I mean, I've I've got it on now, so I can see it. And you know, there are people that I mean, some of them we know, some we don't. But um, but you know, they all sort of help each other out with stuff in there. And that's kind of what we we don't want to get too technical, but we just like Tim and I show each other techniques and ideas. And then you know, the guests we just ask them about you know stuff what they're doing but is there any like uh have you got like a project we could have a look at anything you could sort of talk you know what? as i was coming on this i was like Bagger. so i have a laptop for all my music stuff yeah and a laptop for all my other stuff so my zoom is on the other one but i did get my well i kind of just made a quick template which i think is the most important thing okay well even that's even that's cool just yeah just to have a um, it's know, what i like if anyone's like i want to get into um like producing and stuff yeah I'm normally just like create a template it's gonna save you so much time right. in the long run. Well, well that'd be interesting to see if you don't mind that would be that'd be yeah no of course it's super yeah. simple yeah, it's just cool. kind of, uh, how do i share my screen with you guys just as as you would it should is it enable you to share just uh, uh we can talk you through so the, if you if you see at the bottom of your zoom are you getting yeah. the participants chat and all that lot yeah. Share screen should be ah, in the middle. Share screen. It's like the middle one in there you white go. screen. Um, Don't not. worry, Annie. If you take any less than 30 minutes, you, you're doing it quicker than me. So you're all right. <laughs> oh, he's terrible. He's terrible. <laughs> I, get all, I get all flustered and start flapping. <laughs> yeah. I need to open my security preferences, apparently. Oh, jeez. Yeah, no, no stress, because um, I'm going to get another one of your videos up on here, because... Um, because of that good cool. yeah yeah well it's the um oh what's it called I'll, I'll tell you what it's called in a second i'm just going to try and get it uh media source right so that was oh the... it said it says to me zoom us will not be able to record the contents of your screen until it is quit you can choose to quit now or do it on your own later so right, i'll speak okay. later no no what we'll do 
I'm going to just put another track on and you can do that and rejoin it. Yeah, so just one sec. All right. So this is, wrote this when I liked... Oh, gosh. You know, These like, titles. I like someone who didn't like me back. I think this is great, though. And All right, I'll be back in a second. Well, just... you got a choice, then. you got a choice. You can either have, wrote this when I liked someone who didn't like me back or what a bad breakup feels like. Go on, you choose. You oh, choose. we'll go for the first one. I can't remember what either. <laughs> right, we we'll, might we'll, do we'll, both right. one at the end. So anyway, I'll put that in, and Sick. we're just going to play this, and then you just join yeah. the call back. We'll so back in a second. Let me just get it in there. So you know, we've got a nice bit of continuity. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, that... Continuity. Well. Oh, we're not on it. No, here we go. <laughs> oh, no, don't worry. Right, we're oh, back. We're no, the, vi the video, uh, it finished. <laughs> <laughs> it finished. Sorry. The video finished. So there you go. That's wicked. Annie's back, and um, you are able to share your screen. But I just know. I, I hope so. You hope I'm so. Trying. Well, well, we'll just we'll just just have a have a look. We've got a question. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Right. So, a couple of questions for you um, from our amazing friend over in Germany, the Ableton mm -hmm. drummer asks this question. Hi, Toby, by the way. And uh, he says, hey, Annie, do you use program changes from Ableton Live to change presets in your Kemper? Now, that, I really want to know about the Kemper. It's just, we would, had a quick chat about it the other day and it just fascinates me. Tim, do you know what a Kemper is? Not got a clue. Well. Oh, so great. Here, here you you can so, tell me what a Kemper so, is as two well. Two questions, Annie. First of all, what is a Kemper and why Tim should, and why <laughs> Tim it, should buy one? It's some kind of mystical creature. It sounds like it's yeah. from Lord of the Rings. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so what's a Kemper? And do you use Ableton Live to change the programs? Cool. Um, right. Kemper is like um, a, an amp simulator. I'm not, what's the exact, the exact definition? It's an amp I can't profiler. Remember, it basically, it's um, a profiler, isn't it? it? Yeah, profiler. That's the one. So it profiles amp sounds. So within this digital Kemper, you can get, almost identical. I mean, like people with very trained ears can't tell the difference between that and an actual amp. Um, basically, that's what the Kemper is. You need you one, have... Tim. You need one. Yeah, they're really cool. They're really, really cool. Kemper. Yeah. Um, yeah, um, I have done that um, using like chain selectors and stuff to change the, the programs, but I don't do that now. If I want to change guitar sounds, I'll usually do it within Ableton. So I'll plug my guitar in it will feed into a 
channel, a monitor channel, which has effects rack on it. And I'll have my different sounds in there. And then when I record, I'll feed into another channel. Um, so that's, that's kind of how I do it at the moment. Um, but the, no, I, I wouldn't say one way is better than the other. It's just that the Kemper, if you want to change the sounds, you have to set it up. I mean, you have to set them both up, don't you? But, yeah, yeah. Either yeah. Either way. Yeah, so, either way. So just just while just while we're on that, have you done any performances with your current setup other than online stuff? Have you done? Have you, have you gone anywhere and done it? No, is, no. Is that something uh, we will be doing? Before lockdown, we had a or in the old project, we had um something booked, which was like a live looping thing and we like prepped it all and everything but we hadn't done like a live looping session live before like mm. in front of an audience right. and it, honestly it was terrifying to be honest i i don't really want to like yeah. i love what i'm doing in like in the studio because i can be creative with it and yeah. you know I'm, just, I'm literally just mucking around i have an idea of what i'm gonna play but i'm just mucking around and recording it and if i s screw it up i just do it again yeah um but when it comes to live i'm gonna have to change the set a little bit so that it's a lot less live loopy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, just I mean, there's nothing wrong, nothing wrong with that, is there at all? You know, everyone's sort of, um, you know, kind of you need less to go wrong, don't you? Really? Exactly. And I think when you're playing live, it, you want to be able to perform and like enjoy yourself. And yeah, exactly. Have fun, not a stress. Yeah, you know? and I would be freaking out. Yeah, yeah. And would you would you have any other musicians or live drummer or anything like that? I would love to. Mm. I think at the beginning it will probably just help. Probably just have to keep it minimal yeah. and have a lot on track and stuff. But I would love to have like drums, bassists. Yeah. yeah. Good. That's Maybe. how it. That's how it starts, doesn't it? You, you've got to start like literally minimize to maximize. I always say this all the time, but it's true, isn't it? Just exactly. get it right, and then yeah. You know, if people are paying you enough money, you can get musicians to come and help you. <laughs> so we, we've 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 always there. said we we need live drums with what yeah, we're doing. Yeah. You know, at the very least, we we need live drums. Yeah. Yeah. It just gives it that well proper feel. <laughs> proper feel. Well, you yeah. see, uh, Toby, the Ableton live drummer, there when we we, uh, we we had a little after show session after this finish when he was on, and he promised to come and play drums for him <laughs> when he's over. So. We got him. We, we 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 got we got him. He's on board. But yeah, I think it's just the the whole energy because you actually are a drummer as well, aren't you? Did you start? Did you start off playing drums, or did you start with um, guitar? I started with the guitar, but I started drums like a year later or something. Oh, wicked! So you don't need anybody else. Just just clone yourself. We're nearly there now. Nah. <laughs> so yeah, wicked. And um, can you else? give me two seconds? I've realised I've left my lasagna in the oven. I just need to turn it off. <laughs> See, there you go. That's that's in, in true life. spirit of We're the life. show. Yeah, the lasagna know. is burning. Yeah. So hang on, there was other questions. Um is there something like uh, good. Is it all good? Is it all good? Because like yeah, this is live from the loft, isn't it? You know what I mean? So you, you don't want to burn anything. So um yeah. Spotify, we knew, have you have you got I'm I'm sorry, Annie, I, I I hate to ask this question. It sounds like I've not done my own work properly. But what <laughs> what what do we need to search in Spotify or iTunes if we want to get your music? We've got a question from the chat room. Currently my music is not on these platforms. I'm working to get it released. So I'm working on EP at the moment. Um and you can't make a profile or anything on any of these no, no, you platforms no. until you have it out. Right. So, can um, we, so yeah. While, while yeah. we've got you, then, when it's time for EP to drop, will you do an exclusive yeah. performance for us? Heck yeah! There you go. It's digitally imprinted. It, it's, yeah. uh, it serves as currency. You're we in. don't no, forget, you know. To Toby's, no. Toby's just said, "Count me in for live drums." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, I, I hope you're talking about us, Toby, because you've already yeah, made you a can't be on us. <laughs> don't do as I do and cheat on everybody. No, um, but actually. <laughs> This chat, I've got the chat up, but is it, mine's just blank. Like, well, so my, mine is sometimes. I, I don't know whether it's because, I don't know. Sometimes it might need refreshing if you've had it open yeah, from the try beginning. It. But yeah, Toby the Ableton drummer, he's got a few uh, Max for Live devices that might you might be really good for you. Um, I'll, I'll let, I'll let yeah. him explain. <laughs> but, um, your, the, and he also said, your vocal effects sounds awesome, what you're using. Now, I was going to ask you about this uh, because... When I first met you and I was asking you to come and do something, you were like, oh, you know, we don't sing. Oh, no, no, no. We, we, we work with vocalists. And then, yeah. you know, f 
flicking through my Instagram. What's this? Yeah. <laughs> you on vocals? I nearly went, yeah. what the fuck? So tell us about that. Tim's a vocalist for yeah. the project that I do. So vo vocals, it's just like you are putting yourself on the line, aren't you? Straight away. It's more <laughs> revealing. You know, you can play guitar really well, you know, and it's wicked. And you often, I'm sure you can tell me if I'm wrong, that that is like has been the voice for a while. And now, Absolutely. so tell me about that. Tell me about that, because that's yeah. interesting. Um, Yeah, I just never, like, growing up, I was never as, like, I don't think of myself as a singer. And mm. I think I've probably trained, like, just, just singing has probably trained me to get a little bit better, because I recall being just so terrible. <laughs> um, But, yeah, I guess it was all to do with just, like, confidence. And yeah, it was just, like, I was a guitarist, you know? It didn't even cross yeah. my mind that I would sing. Yeah. Like why no? Like I play guitar. Why would I? Why would I sing? And I also had no intention of doing anything other than playing guitar. I just wanted to be a session guitarist. Um, but I think that's because I hadn't really, like, my mind hadn't really been open to it. Yeah. Um, so then when I kind of started writing a bit more, um, I, I I still didn't sing. So I was writing with so many different people, and you kind of have to do a bunch of stuff to realize what's what's for you. Um, and I didn't realize that what I was doing just wasn't for me at all, like hopping from session to session with a bunch of different singers. And there was always a singer in the room. So why would I ever sing, you yeah, know? Exactly. Um, and then and then lockdown came and I just realized how much I love writing by myself. I had never enjoyed really the writing process before that, like all these sessions, different people every day. I didn't really realize kind of how much I didn't like it. Wow. Um, and then, yeah, I just started writing by myself and I was like, well, sod this, I'm just going to try and sing. I just like <laughs> stick okay. a bunch of effects on my voice and, and it sounded okay. Um, and then I, as I've kind of graduated, I mean, the first video I posted of me singing, I was terrified to put it up. <laughs> I remember sending it to like five friends being like, are you sure I can put this online? Like, it's oh, it's wow. really <laughs> interesting, isn't it? The, 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 yeah. Like you, you can put those videos up and, and get to the point where you're, you're not really thinking about it yet. As soon as your voice is on it, it's it's a different level of personal, and and, and all of a sudden it's you, 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 yeah. Well, that's the thing. Like, uh, and I was like, like with your voice, it's you can't change it. Like your voice is your voice. Whereas if someone's like, oh, I don't like that lick, or oh, I don't like that tone, cool, don't yeah. care. I can change it. Like, <laughs> change no, the it's yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, what do you want? <laughs> um, but yeah, so, so yeah, to totally agree. Um, and then kind of uh, as I've been doing it more, getting a little bit more confident, just like take the effects down a little bit. Um, so you can you can tell tell which videos I did six months ago and which ones I've done now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that, that's, that's good to know. Yeah, that's really good to know. I mean, some people might not be able to tell, but obviously like you, you know, and, and, and I think um, Tim and I can both relate to it. Because I mean, I used to sing for the band that I was in because I was just sick of pretty similar to what you were saying because... It's just like I didn't realize how much that I wanted to write and then me sing the words that I write and things like that and getting other people to sing my words. That's OK, but I, I couldn't yeah. do it with anybody else's. But yeah. um, uh, I'm sure you know Andrew Huang. Yeah. And um, he put a video up not long ago and like Tim and I just wrote a whole batch of material over the last year, not just over lockdown, but I suppose it kind of helped. And um, there's a couple that that written that that I I came up with the melody and I'm like, oh, I, I've got to sing these Tim, but I feel a bit of a knob and blah 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 because I'm like, you know, getting on a bit and all this stuff. And um, shut up. Well, whatever. But it's like, well, that's the source of where it came from. As long as it exists, we're always talking about making things exist. Then once it exists, if somebody says, oh, I think I can sing that better, then yeah, like you said, the voice is just you can't really. In my head, you know, I can sound like, you know anybody that that's like Curtis Mayfield in my head but it doesn't sound like that at all because it's a physical attribute you know I mean you can't change too much you can give it a bit of feel and a bit of timbre yeah. but yeah like you said you stuck with that sound but Andrew Huang said he said I get all these comments these negative comments why are you singing and like get somebody else to sing man your music's great but and he just said I like singing and I don't I yeah. want to do it and it's yeah. like, well, go for it, mate. And it was like, it, the video's out there. He's done a video about it on YouTube. But I was like, wow, man, that's really like inspiring for loads of people because it's like, well, you've just kind of just gone for it and put yourself, you put yourself out there and it's like, well, you've done it now. So the only way is up. So 
EP. I love yeah. that. Yeah, it's great. Right, exactly, exactly. It's so talking about EP now, and um, just if we can have a look at the, the way you're sort of like looking at you talked about template because template to me sounds organized. So if you can do yeah. the share screen, just talk us through. This, yeah, this is like my track template. So okay. it hasn't got any um, like monitoring channels or anything oh, like no, that. Oh, no, no, that's fine. Um, okay, here we go. We've got a few more questions as well. Oh, you are popular. We don't get this many questions from anybody else. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Um, can you see my screen? We very can much, indeed, yeah. Very and basic. you've got media files missing. Oh, God, yeah, that's because I'm on the wrong laptop. No, it's fine. So totally. half the plugins on, on here. And, oh, but you can, right. see, you can see what ones they would be. Oh, so do you use, do you use a Helix, the Line 6? Do you use one? Right, that? yeah. So very, very recently. Um, so my, I, was, I was at my friend's and he, was, he uses it and yeah. he was telling me about it. And I've been thinking for a while, Kemper really need to sort their shit out and get a plugin. Yeah, yeah you, you mentioned that, yeah. Yeah, it'd be so handy if you could take the sound from the Kemper into your plugin so you don't need to take your Kemper with you wherever you go. Ah. Uh, so it's annoying because you can't get exactly the same sound, whereas with Helix you can. Mm. Um, so I've just, I'm just experimenting a bit and I like to have options when I open my channel and just kind of click record enable on whatever one I want to play with. Oh, that's really good to know that. Yeah, cause I, I looked at those and you can get like, it's the stomp box version, isn't it? And you can get a rack yeah. one as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. It, it's like, I mean, apparently the Kemper is as well. I've never used it, but it's like an interface as well. The yeah. Helix is like an eight channel or 16 channel interface, which is madness. Wow. Mm, very really interesting. Cool. Yeah, bit of research. Uh, Ned Rush mm. says, yay, Helix. So he must be using one. Yeah. Um, Loads of people use it. Yeah, because I've got an original. Um, original, like as if it's going to be a copy, an AX212, which is one of the first Line 6 amps that ever came about. Oh, 1990, shit. 1997. Cool. <laughs> I remember you showing me that. 1997. Were you guys even alive then? <laughs> <laughs> How many years younger are you, Annie? Uh, 96. Oh, so really just cool. about, just about then. So when when this amp, and and then after that came the pods. You remember the Line Six pods and Pod XT and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. That's embryonic stuff, you know, the original right in there. But yeah, that that the Sam's on there that I can't get on, you know, some of the plugins. But it's yeah, so, so if you had the Kemper, you could actually profile the sound of that amp and then have it. Oh wow! Just... Yeah. yeah. It's on the list, that, because I think, you know, if you play guitar and you're doing all this stuff, I, I think you really need to have access, don't you, to the sounds you want. And, you know, yeah. all, all the synth guys are taken care of, aren't they? You know, if you want, like, a Juno, yeah. it's pretty much the Arturias there and all these contact libraries. But guitar is still... They need to catch up. Yeah. And make it cheaper. <laughs> Agrees. <laughs> so, go on, tell us what you've got here, so. Um, yeah, basically, it's just quick access to stuff. So, I've got one channel with serum open oh, yeah. which is like something that i use on almost everything yeah and i have another channel with just an ableton sounds yeah and then i have a grand piano because that's normally what i tend to just write on if i'm just going to come and write okay yeah and then a channel for bass and then i use exo i don't know if you know it just oh yes our, almost one, our great. wonderful friends at addictive uh yeah. xln audio yeah yeah, that's sick. I love that. And it's oh, just, yeah. it's really quick and easy just to make some drums up in it. Oh, yeah. And then I always bounce that out and export it here. Oh, good. And then guitar, this is literally just going straight in. Oh, actually, I do. This is this is Rachel's guitar chain, guitar source. <laughs> and I have that on, like, regardless of whether I'm doing Kempo and going straight in or or, right. Helix or um, and then, yeah, just tweak that as I want to. Oh, go away, screen record thingy. Oh, can I just sorry. can I just ask you there? Just you're not you you not using a cabinet after the. Uh, we, we were just talking about this before you came on, and um, the the whole like using the the cabinet after amp. Um, do you not need to on that? Do you, do you, do you find you're happy with the sound? Yeah, I don't. I don't. And I this is always like at the end. So this is like after the camper. Oh, I see. Right there, you go. You won't need to then. Yeah, which is right. kind of stupid. I don't need it there. It's just kind of what I've got used to. So no, I just leave it. Well, it's like it's like another EQ, isn't it, really? That, that's yeah. kind of what, what it does, isn't it? 
exactly yeah and some effects like um some delays and verbs i often turn off on my camper just because if i want to tweak it after it's a bit annoying to have to reamp any guitar sounds oh, that yeah, have got yeah. delayed it's a bit too much or whatever so i tend to keep the delays like in ableton oh good you got the um, echo there and then well i haven't got anything on the, but usually the helix is there and then just a couple of channels open for solo so the stuff that i'm doing at the moment i don't usually have more than one guitar channel uh, so this is just options sometimes i'll record one in and then play a solo which is why i've got three and then vocal someone was asking about the vocal chain this is my vocal chain which is also rachel's vocal chain <laughs> she just gave it to me oh, that's uh, all right isn't it and it's pretty it's pretty basic really a bit of deessa some eq some compression the ott OT. i love it but it's so <laughs> noisy all oh, right okay is because it's um you get the noise floor because you're compressing so much is it maybe yeah i'm not sure i'm not nerdy enough to know what it is um i just know that it drives me bonkers and i either put like that soft um noise gate on it afterwards yeah or i just turn it down and it's they're all in the macro pros over here oh okay and then so you uh, parallel you, compression something, what something like that would be great for me annie because because i'll try and lay down um I, I'm not great when it comes to get, creating the sounds, if you like. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm all right with composing and layering stuff, but I'll sit down and want to do something vocally that I'll have an idea. And then all of a sudden, um, you, you find yourself messing about with settings. And, and, and before you know it, the idea has gone or it's no yeah, longer as well, good as yeah. what it was in the moment. And, and exactly. then sometimes stuff like this templates they're understated it, it, it's priceless isn't it to, to, to get 100%. stuff down i think that's just like honestly one of the main things like if you've got an idea you want to be you want to be able to open something up have a sound that you know you like have a vocal chain that you know you're gonna like the sound yeah, of definitely. and just be able to get it in you can change it all afterwards if you want but yeah absolutely. need it to be able to sound good straight away definitely that's that's why you use ableton live tim that's why because yeah. you just boom exactly. reach put it in go but yeah the, i mean i suppose this is kind of the um the whole idea of what you're saying that get everything in there so that is ready now for you to just go if you had to just go yeah. now you could do it yep. which is great yep. can i just ask you about grand piano because this is just obviously yeah. i mean i've been demoing live 11 since i don't know how long ago but um have you tried the upright piano the uh spitfire one uh, yes, 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 I did a video for them and I used the upright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you like it? I do like it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm, I'm feeling I really, I really do like those because obviously people ask me all the time, should I go for standard or should I go for sweet? But now it's the, the difference now is even bigger. And it's like yeah. those, those, those Spitfire, um, the still Spitfire audio. Oh, geez. It just like, I, I, I would pay whatever difference is just for those because I <laughs> yeah. just. Yeah. yeah, anyway, yeah. Okay. just a little rant over there. I'm just like, oh, you know, I do feel got, good. Got a question for you, Annie. Yeah. Um, Git, uh, I'm really sorry if I've mispronounced your name, mate. I'm, I'm not all that cultured. Uh, hey, Annie, do you split your guitar waves into two channels to get a wider panning and a fuller sound in multiple layers with rhythm guitar and solo overlay? Um, no, 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 no. I have, um, no, not when I'm doing these because I'm, I'm doing it all like, when you see me play it as what I'm playing. Um, yeah. So I like, if I were to double everything in my videos, uh, my videos would be like 10 minutes long. <laughs> um, <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. But if I'm recording to like producing, sometimes I will, it depends, but I record in from the Kemper stereo anyway. So it usually sounds pretty fat as it is. Um, so yeah, generally I don't, sometimes I do, it depends. If it's like a little popping line or something, sometimes it is really cool to do it twice and like wide pan them. But yeah, it just depends. Depends what, what it is. Cool. Yeah. Is there, is there any more questions on there, Tim? What I know somebody asked quite a quite an involved question, but maybe um Just go what, for it. It was, was uh want? maybe some tips for a beginner to start with Ableton and Looping. looping how many tracks and what tracks I need. Uh, got a launch key mini and an acoustic guitar. I did say that it might be a bit, a bit too much for you to go into, but please feel free to, to go yeah. on. Yeah, I mean, if you've got uh, an acoustic guitar, set up one channel for that. 
if and then you've got the launch key mini maybe start with one when you when you get familiar with it then then you can add another one um would be good um so if i was you i'd start in clips um and just start kind of it's uh, uh, looping without the push i don't even know the first place to begin because <laughs> i use the push like wow. the push i just put on you know fix length boom you're good um so i don't really know how it work how you would trigger these clips and stuff without it mm. i mean you can do that with um you, you can you can assign clips to keys couldn't you on the yeah is it a launch yeah yeah key mini? so if you midi map them yeah yeah totally and the yeah. launch key midi has pads i think doesn't it mini i think mini. It, i think it does actually yeah yeah um, so you can assign clips to the pads and then you yeah. can hit one and record stuff in yeah. um just start really really simple just yeah. start i think like clip at a time i suppose that you must um who, who asked the question tim what was the Oh, there you go. Uh, new, new, new E89. New E89. I mean, I'm presuming if you've got, because um, it's mentioned launch key. I mean, if you've got a, a, any version of Ableton Live, um, if you just get yourself familiar with just recording clips and take your time and just understand that what happens, you know, the whole sort of, oh, there you go. Launch key as a full Ableton support, easy to record it. Yeah, there you go. Figured it out, but everything sounds so flat. Okay, so I think it's like, talking about like if um what to do next if things sound flat obviously we're looking at most things that you hear in performances have always got little bits of reverb and chorus and things like that so that's basically what you, you've kind of set up there isn't it yeah all so, about the sounds um yeah. you just need to find kind of like a preset where where you play the keys it it sounds fat immediately you don't want to be yeah. you don't really want to have to be doubling things and panning them left and right to make it sound fat you kind yeah. of want to do that within the instrument mm. So you're kind of doing production for performance, aren't you? Really, so everything's right. Yeah, yeah that, that's that's really interesting. That that I, I can see why um, you've shown us a template is actually re a really good thing. So, yeah, yeah, that's really good. And um, another question, which uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm also on this one. Annie, who are your really? favourite guitarists? Oh, Ooh. oh, that's, that's honestly the uh, I asked. Solid me. question, that isn't it? Yeah, um, I think Nile Rogers is definitely up oh, there. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, love is playing the, funky as hell, but yeah, also yeah. Great jazzer. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, then, who influenced sorry. you with all the the stuff that that you know, like the more like jazzy stuff? Because like you're playing yeah. stuff that you know, I don't even know where that came from. <laughs> like, what who influenced that stuff? Um, loads of people, really. To be honest, a lot of lot of the guys on Instagram influenced that. Yeah. So I started like when I was studying. I studied a lot of jazz. Um, like Wes Montgomery and Joe Pass and oh, wicked. Julian Large, people like that. Um, and then, so kind of having that theory, I guess, under my fingers or whatever, made it easier to learn those neo soul vibe kind of things. And then it, it really was like the guys on Instagram who I was like, shit, this is so cool. Um, yeah. What's his, Kazuki, oh gosh, his name is insane i thought kazuki oh i think i know what you mean but i'm not going to be out, out with the name yeah, yeah, yeah. i iso iso <laughs> oh him yeah that guy the one yeah, who's yeah. like the absolutely insane yeah um i was going to share something with you is my microphone better now because uh it's, no. no one said anything about it for ages Simon, it wasn't your mic is quiet place. please turn up thanks well first of all thanks for telling me and thanks for being interested to in what i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah oh i forgot what i was going to say oh yeah i was going to send you one um tim and the, the guy i think that you're talking about annie he's posted a video on instagram of him playing with one finger and he okay. he, he hits the string taps the harmonic let's go it's got some nice delay on it and he literally plays this lick with one finger and um we were talking annie about um tim from the other tim from mm. uh polyphia oh my goodness Absolutely that guy insane. see i think that's really one of your tracks actually is like you know we, it's me and me and this tim were talking and uh, saying that it's kind of like really like sort of modern pop which is i don't know if you're happy with that because it, it's it's kind of you can hear um, it's like, you know, commercially viable for sure. 
and the beats are, are like modern but and you've got this like neat like guitar stuff and i think there's definitely like a real place for that and when i heard tim is it tim is he called tim henson henson yeah I yeah think so. and he's like when he does stuff that's not in polyphia it's kind of this like you know the, the um i like how loop masters call it emo trap guitar <laughs> it's just like quite an hilarious title but it's that kind of sound isn't it where the ultra clean and like really nice voicings and harmonics and stuff do you know that um other guy on instagram and i follow him and he's um so super clean and um loads of kind of like harmonics and i can't even remember his name fin, fin, uh he's got like a spanish name and uh oh um Fernand, Fernand. oh ah shit i know exactly who you mean yeah, fin, he, not uh, ma, 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 it begins with them, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is, is somebody gonna is somebody gonna bail us out in the chat room? But he is phenomenal. Like you know, really like. But you know, you do like the sort of um, like thirty second note flourishes, like bring ding bring ding, the sort of yeah. like super. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like Mateo. Mateo yeah, Mateo. yeah, Mateo, Mateo uh, Fernandez something. Uh, Gar Garnia. Garnia. That's it. That guy. Oh yeah. my goodness. We yeah, got it. Yeah. yeah. Oh my <laughs> word. See, I, I just go on this and I just go. Oh God. You know, I'm just seeing how amazing these people are. And you know, yeah. you're, you're in that too. I'm telling you, just like, oh my word. I think it's the first thing I said when, when, I, when I met you was like, all that stuff you're doing on the guitar, dude. Like, what, what's going on? <laughs> but you know, one mustn't hold back. You know, you got to ask these questions. <laughs> but um, yeah. Anybody? Oh, it's, apparently the mic's cool again. And um, but yeah, uh, somebody also acknowledged uh, Wes Montgomery like and um what what sort of what sort of drew you towards that because as far as jazz guitarist that's kind of like a particular style isn't it he had his own real distinct sound yeah um i, I just kind of wanted to study all the jazz guitarists um mm. i was just i'm just like knowledge hungry you know especially when Good. i was studying i was just like I honestly was the biggest loser ever. I never went out. I, I, I literally probably went out two times. I was such a loser. Um, yeah, I just wanted to know everything yeah. I could know and like all the voicings that they were playing. If I was just like, what is that? Like, what is he doing? Wicked. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> now that's, that's a good, I, I think I was kind of like that when I was, I, I went to like a music college, but I didn't go until after um, I started on this other, crazy path doing media stuff and then i didn't start playing guitar till i was like 16 but i went crazy though like really dove in and i, I was pretty similar just soaking up everything and just being like what's going on there who's that and i'd ask like i remember i saw this guy play crazy train by ozzy osbourne do you know that it's like yeah. proper like rock classic and i said oh mate we show us how to play that and he went no go and figure it out yourself i was like yeah oh, okay then thankfully it's true though so many people ask me like, oh, do you have the tab? I'm like, no, I do not have the tab. <laughs> Firm hand. I do have the tab for that. <laughs> well, you know, I've been one of them people too, just like, but I think now the, um, you know, when like parents and grandparents say, I used to have to walk 50 miles to go and get this and that, whatever. And I used to have to walk into Manchester to get books and guitar things and, and I remember uh, there's a story of uh, George Harrison and Paul McCartney who used to travel from one side of Liverpool to the other to learn a new chord because somebody in like uh, Croxteth knew a B7 or something. Do you know what I mean? It's like there, there were no like, there were, there were no sort of, there were guitar books and stuff. But I think the accessibility now where someone can just watch and then like you said, get the tab for this or do whatever. And it's like- There's no excuses now, is there? Nah. There's just, there just isn't any. For me, to hide behind. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm conscious that your lasagna's going cold, you know. <laughs> so, um, in the oven. No, oh, okay, okay. But just, just, um, if you can just maybe enlighten us a little bit more, what the EP is going to be like, and sort of what your plans are, and then yeah. once, once you've done that, we can have you on at some point in the, in the future, and you can. So, what's the, uh, what, what's the, is is there a concept or is it a collection of things you've done? Or are you going to write new stuff from now? Um, it's a little bit of both. So oh. basically I want, so the reason I kind of was like, oh, I've got to do this. Um, it's because this producer who is insane um, messaged me 
and I was like, what the hell? Being like, oh, like, I love your voice. Um, I want to do this song with you. And I was like, what's the hell? This is madness. Um, <laughs> and actually, he's kind of the one that made me realise it's not about if you can sing perfectly in tune. It's about, it's, it's all about the tone. Like, mm. um, you, can, you can fix tuning. You can't fix tone. Um, Good. And anyway, yeah, it was, and he was kind of like, I want to help you like make the music that you want to make and i was like insane i want to make the clips that i've done on instagram into full-length songs to oh. release them oh. um so that's pretty much what i'm doing i've kind of like picked a couple of my favorites and have used the actual stems i guess of of when i played them live like and use them for the full full song. So like any solo that I played on it, I haven't played it again. I haven't recreated it. I'm keeping the exact one that I did live. Um, that's that's super important to me. I hate coming back to things and redoing things. It's never the same as when you first no, do it no, in no. the moment. Um, so yeah, basically I'm I'm making the tunes that you've seen on Instagram into full length songs, verses. Pre's, drops, middle eights, um, and like getting a bunch of them together to then to then release as the EP as Wicked. soon as possible. <laughs> that sounds like a plan. And is is there any kind of timeline or deadline or anything? Yeah, I mean for me it's just as soon as possible. Like I have like people will be like, when is your music out? Where can I listen to it every day? And I'm like, oh my god, I really need to crack the hell on. Um, I'm I'm doing it as quick as I can. Um, Good. I kind of want to get a couple more done, and then I'm just going to release them one at a time. So it just yeah. means I can start going sooner. Yeah. No, that sounds like a plan. So one of the questions is, will what a bad breakup feels like be one of them? Um, oh, if I can remember how that goes, <laughs> no. Well, we're gonna we're gonna play out with that one anyway. So, if anyone's got any uh, last questions um, for Annie while she's here, and if you have anything and you think, "Geez, I wish I'd have asked that," if you put it in the in the chat, we'll make sure it gets to Annie, and we'll try and get back to you. We have uh, Tim can give you some details now. We've got a Discord that we've started um, because we want to try and like up this a little bit we're asking artists to do uh, some performances and little um, interview bits and i want to try to make it look a little better as well and stuff like that but yeah your input the people who are listening and the people in the chat room uh it's all about you guys so do like and subscribe it just because we then know that we've got people who are listening and we can put more into it we just do this because we like doing it no one's paying no one's getting paid here but hopefully we can uh send some light onto the artists we have on, show them some love, keep them going, make them realize that they're not just doing this for themselves. But, you know, it's a good way to power yourself forward. But, Annie, it's been great having you on. Um, it's been a, a great insight and uh, just, just really interesting to see how you're doing stuff. And, um, yeah, uh, we love your attitude. It's really, really good, really positive. And uh, it seems that, like, you're another one of these people who have, something good's come out of being in lockdown it would seem is that right for sure yeah, wicked definitely. wicked so something to take and leave on a positive note uh tim's just put um the uh, link to the discord uh do join guys because it's, it's great to sort of have somewhere else where we can tell you stuff in between what's going on we do want to try and some sort of community involvement as well where we can do sort of um have a project and people like make parts and upload them and do stuff with we've got a few different platforms we're working with and trying things out so that's going to happen soon but we just got to get it all sorted and so, we've got you back for a live performance when we start doing live performances haven't we Annie? for sure live from the <laughs> loft because your, your, your loft is just like it's just you've got everything there haven't you so if um yeah if you're, it, if you're up for it you're up for it we'd love to have you on and um yeah, you can do what you do best and just go for it and play. Sound like a plan? Sweet. Wicked. Right, so Sounds we're going like to play out with one of your videos. And uh, thanks thanks again. I'm just going to line it up. And, uh, yep, here we go. So this one, just to remind, is is what a bad breakup feels like. And all these are on um, Annie's YouTube channel. If you do want to um, follow it, of course you do. If you don't follow already, geez, come on. Get with the program. You'll love it. 
and uh, obviously follow yeah. Instagram. You've got a few followers on Instagram, haven't you? You've just got, is it one or two? Is it? <laughs> what was it? Sorry, we, we didn't hear that. What was that? How many? Six. What is it? No, no, no. What is what? No, how many? How, you, you've got a what? lot of followers across. Like you, you've 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 got a lot of followers on um, some of the social media. So, but you could always have a few more. That that'll be nice, wouldn't it? We've sent some your way. We've it? sent some your way. Yeah, the response you know, has been great. The next hundred thousands on us. <laughs> we'll leave you to great. it. So here, here we go. And thanks for coming on again. I'm just going to play this out. And uh, thanks everyone for joining us. I hope you found it entertaining. Uh-huh. We have. We loved it. So yeah, me too. Brilliant. Thanks again. Let's Thanks, do this. Annie. Let's do this. Thank you, guys. Let well, us know when the AP's coming out. We need to hear it. Oh, I definitely will. I'm mm-hmm. planting it everywhere. thumbs up hit that subscribe button for more videos like this uh and share it that would be awesome